Today, we're taking a look at two SQL interview questions that are asked at LinkedIn. Jump on my computer and solve them line by line. So both these questions are from Data Lemur. Uh, this one right over here is based off of skills for a data science job. And then this is duplicate job listings. Both are considered easy questions, but we will go through those pretty shortly. Now, the first one over here, so it says, given a table of candidates and their skills, you're asked to find the candidates best suited for a data science job. You're gonna find candidates who are proficient in Python and Tableau and Postgres. All right, so we're gonna grab that over here. So we need to find these candidates that specifically have those three skills, write a query to candidates who possess the required skills. So then it also has a sort by candidates in ascending order. So let's meet their task in here. It doesn't seem too bad. There are no duplicates, which is good, right? So that's always a positive. And then we have only one table, candidates. So candidate ID and then a skill. And you have candidate ID and skills over here. And then our example output is one, two, three. And that's because they have those three skills, Python, Tableau, and Postgres. The other ones do not. All right, actually, that's uh, not too bad of a query. So what I think we're going to do first, and let's come out this select on here, is we're going to do a select and we're going to grab uh, the specific candidate ID of the person. So we'll grab that. And we're going to have to make sure that someone has these three skills. So let's just copy those in over here, Python, Tableau, and Postgres. So what are different ways that we could filter that by this? We could have this technically in the where clause and show candidates that have uh, one of these two skills if we use uh, in based around it, or we could technically use a case statement and sum these up. So if a candidate has Python, add one, Tableau add one, Postgres add one. And then we can filter by a total of three uh, by having this as a subquery. So I think that's the route I specifically wanna go. That way, you know for sure they have these three skills. Um, the only way that they wouldn't is if they have Python here listed twice, but they said there's no duplicates in the candidates table. So that solves for that issue. So let's try that. So what I'm gonna do on here and by the way, I need to put from here just before I forget, let's have our statement on here. So let's tab out this and let's tab out this. So I'm gonna do a sum, right? And we're gonna, well, oh, actually had another one over there. We're gonna put it out like this and I'm gonna name this as total skills and we're gonna build our sum statement within here. So let's, write a case statement. So all you have to do is case when, and I'll put over here skill. So skill equals, and we're gonna grab Python first, like that. And then we're gonna put then one. And let's do our next one over here. When skill equals, and we'll grab the tableau, put then, one and then when skill equals and then postgres then one else zero and as total skills so this should have that another thing i would recommend doing is we do a group by for the candidate id so that way we have one specific candidate id and then we have the sum associated with so I'm gonna run this code and then we're gonna build out the next part of this question. So if we run this over here, you can see 345 has two total skills. 147 has three, which I don't know if that was on that example over here, but that does line up with what's expected. 123 does have three, so perfect, right? And 234 has zero, which has R, Power BI, and SQL Server. Although in my opinion, if I was hiring for a data science role and they have SQL Server experience and they have R experience, they can learn Python and they have Power BI versus Tableau, they can learn that as well. So I would give them the chance, but LinkedIn on this question is not. But either way, we have two examples over here that have three. So we need to grab those specifically. Now, the way to do that is we're gonna put this in a subquery. So let's put over here, select, and then what we're probably gonna grab is this candidate ID. So we're gonna grab that. That's the only thing we're gonna be grabbing from this intersection, so from, build out this and then we're going to drag all this back in over here so throw all this junk inside tab that over for the 
looks a lot better. And we have to name this. So I'm just gonna name it like A1 just to keep it easy. Although if you're writing a query at your job, do not put A1, make sure it's very specific. I'm just doing this to have it short, right? And then we're gonna put where, and we're gonna have total skills equal to three. So that way if we go back over here. If someone has Python, Tableau, and Postgres, they would have three. So total skills like that. And then we're gonna order by, because this is over here, sort the output by candidate ID in ascending order. So candidate ID, and then we're gonna put ASC for ascending. And I think that should be it on the side of things. Although if you wanna add the specific tables to those columns, you really can. But this should solve the question. So if we run this code, you can see one, two, three, and one, 47. We click this submit over here. And our, congrats, our solution has been accepted. So again, real quick, a recap on this one before you go into number two. Selecting the candidate ID, we're summing the different skills, Python, Tableau, and Postgres. That way we get to three. If it's not one of those skills, it's gonna be zero. That's all within a sum statement. Group by the candidate ID. So each candidate ID has a total sum of those skill sets. And then we have this as a subquery. So we select the candidate ID where those skills equals three, and then we order it by uh, the candidate ID. So not too bad of a specific question, but let's go into the second one. So question number two, we're looking at duplicate jobs. This is problem number eight. Let me read that book. So assume that the table shows job posting for a company on LinkedIn platform. Write a query to get the number of companies that have posted duplicate jobs. So what's our thing for duplicate jobs? Refer to two jobs at the same company title and description. So over here for this example input, looks like company ID title and description needs to be the same. So we'll just put these over here, company ID title and also description, just like that. And then our output is accounts, which is CO duplicate jobs like this. And uh, let's start working on this. So what I wanna do first and I'm gonna comment this out here, is I wanna do kind of like a partition by, I'm thinking, and we're gonna partition by stuff that company title and description is the same, and we're gonna count that. And just to make sure this is working correctly, I'm gonna output everything on here for company ID, title, description, and job ID. So not specifically needed, but I do think it would help from like an organization standpoint, at least seeing like if my code is working properly. And I like testing it out when writing a, a query. I don't like writing it all at once and saying, hey, why is this not working at the end? But everyone has their own style. So let's also put a comma over here. Now let's do our count. So we're gonna count. And what I'm thinking we do is this company ID. Let's keep it standardized in here. So we're gonna do over and then let's put our partition by. And then we're just gonna partition by these three columns because those need to be the same. And we'll just throw that in here like that. Make sure you delete that comma at the end. And we're gonna do from, which I can't spell, but that's okay. So do from job listings, just like that. And let's run this code. So let's see over here, these two look the same, software engineer, software engineer, that data engineer is a little bit different, but we can't see all this. So I gotta scroll over. So it looks like the same. And our count is two, although that they have different company, or no, they have the same company IDs, but they have different job IDs. So that's exactly what we're looking for, which is great. Now we need to count these. So we're gonna have to pretty much build a subquery on this one, which we use quite a lot in these questions. So let's think about how we're gonna do this. So we're gonna have to have a count at the top. It's gonna be for this. So let's just put that here, select counts. I don't know what we're gonna put in here yet. We gotta think about it. And then say as, and that's how you can rename your the column, or you can just put this over here like that. It's equal smart enough. And then we'll put from, and then we're gonna put all of this inside over here. And then pure classic laziness, we're gonna name this as A1. Again, don't do that in your normal job. So A1 like that. And let's think about how this count works right now. So technically we need to count these totals, but like if these were the same over here, this needs to count as a one for a duplicate thing. Uh, so company ID 244, title, software engineer, and description. So what I'm thinking right now 
is we could count distinct description like that. And that way it pulls on that side of things because you could have the same job title here twice and then like the same company ID is going to happen multiple times. So that's probably not the best to do a distinct on title. You do have that potential, but description, the odds of that happening kind of slim to none. Also, what I need to do too is have a where statement. So where, and of course I didn't name this over here. So I'm going to name this as dupe jobs, but I'm going to put where dupe jobs is greater than one. And just to explain this uh, again, this, is our count of the jobs that are going to be the same by company ID, title, and description. So I'm looking for where dupe jobs is greater than one. That way, if something's duplicated, it's going to be two. If there's no duplicates, it will be one. So just know that for now. Um, and I think that is how we're going to run this. So let's just run this query over here. We have COW duplicate jobs as three. And let's submit this. And the question has been accepted. So again, how this works, we're selecting, we don't need all of this, but this is our, our bread and butter statement right here. So count the, the company ID, partition by the three from job listings, and then we're counting the distinct descriptions because those aren't really going to be uh, the same from job to job. And then we're, we're looking for dupe jobs greater than one. And that solves the question. Hope you learned something new in this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe as it does help out the YouTube algorithm. By the way, I made a video on Twitter SQL interview questions right here. You should watch this next.